Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I don't do that many unboxing things but I had a bit of a surprise in the post. Um, as some of you may know if you read my blog or follow the blogs that I am originally from South Africa. So I'm from Cape Town and um, I lived there till I was about 21. I came over to the UK more than 10 years ago so my accent has faded quite a lot. But I still think about South Africa probably a few times a day. It is my home, um, even though I love living in Wales. I do miss it a lot and there are some things, you know, like food that I really miss. So I had a really exciting package in the post from sansa.co.uk that sells um, a whole bunch of New Zealand stuff. Uh, New Zealand food and things, um, Australian and South African, so they sent me some South African food and I'm so excited because this is going to be literally like a blast from the past of some of my favourite things, so I can't wait to see what is in it. So let's get unboxing! This, this is the best tea ever. Fresh packed rooibos or red bush as you call it here, but rooibos is a staple in every South African home. From the time you're like six months old, you're having rooibos tea, caffeine free. That's going on in the morning for breakfast. Ah, grape tizer. We've had apple tizer in South Africa for years and we drink a lot of grapefruit there. I mean, not grapefruit, grape juice. And they have red, Grape tizer, which you don't get here, and I love it. Let's see what. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Mrs. Ball's chutney. Literally the best chutney in the world. It's really fruity and it has lots of apricots and chili and just yumminess. And if you have a barbecue, we call it a braai, this goes on everything. It's amazing. So, what else? <gasps> I literally lived on this stuff. There's two cereals in here. And I lived on this jungle oats. The best porridge oats. Just so creamy. I think it's the way my mother did it on the stove on a Sunday. If she had time, we had this and it was amazing. And if we didn't have time, we had Bow! Pen Neutro. Um it's probably full of things that are not good for you, I imagine now. But I loved this cereal when I was growing up. Um, it's made mainly out of mealy maize, which is corn, and I mean it does say 100% balanced protein, high in protein, 13 vitamins and 5 minerals, so it can't be too bad. It's like a smooth, really smooth, flaky porridge thing. I can't really describe it, but it's a household name there. Everyone loves Brunichur. Bam, bam, bam. Ooh, chakalaka. It's sort of like a vegetable, spicy vegetable mix that you can obviously make from scratch which my mother would and you'd have it like as a side dish but Koo which is like the, one of the biggest like tinned brands there you can get anything you just open up it's a bit like the South African version but spicy and more curry type of a Italian ratatouille sort of lots of different vegetables it's kind of good for you great vegetarian side dish um, ooh, what's in here? <gasps> All bad stuff when you're a child, really. Fizzes, oh my word, these are like, if you went to a kid's party and you had a party bag, you'd get a fizzer. I can't even explain what it is, and it's in cream soda, it's probably just full of sugar and stuff, but amazing at the same time. It's like a weird, like, fizzy, tangly chewy taste and then bow, um, fizz pop which is apple flavor but inside it's like in the center but it's like sherbet so when you get it um you know it's like a normal sweet but you like get it and it's all like fizzy in the middle so really like those and ah oh, spur spur seasoning salt this stuff on chips are amazing it makes chips taste a hundred million times better because it has loads of MSG in it but amazing on chips literally my favorite thing steers is 
sort of a South African version of like a fast food type place. We didn't really have growing up. Um, McDonald's only came when I was a teenager and I really wasn't like, we just never really ate um, out. My mother always made food at home. So, um, and we didn't have Burger King when I was there at all. We didn't have any of these like American kind of franchises, but we had Steers Steak Ranch, um, which actually does a really good veggie burger. Oh, I love these. My mother used to put these in my lunchbox. It's an apricot fruit roll. It's kind of like an early version of Yo Bear kind of naked bar. So it's like a really big roll of dried fruit. And you'd roll it out. Have some. Mix it up. Um, dried fruit and sort of dried anything there is really popular because the sun is so hot. People have always dried things in the sun. So that's why you have things like biltong, um, which is meat that's dried in the sun, and you have things like this fruit roll, because um, yeah, it's really hot there most of the year. And yeah, it's a great way of lasting. Most importantly, dish rusks. Rusks are awesome. They are a hard biscuit, really, really hard, that you dip into your rooibos tea. And it, it's not like, it's like a big chunk. I love them. Love them so much. It's like a big chunky biscuit that you just dump and it goes soft and that just made my day. So I'm off to have all of my favourite South African things, treats and I'm going to indulge in that and some fruit roll. So thanks very much for watching and I hope you have fun and let me know what your favourite childhood uh, treat or food was from wherever you're from. Bye!